Tonight, some Pinellas County students rushed to the hospital. Teachers telling us they ate drug-laced candy. And right now, investigators are trying to find out who brought the candy to the high school campus in the first place. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is live in Gulfport with more. Maricela? These students did eat drug-laced candy. We don't know what it was mixed with, but the fact that this stuff was at the school upsets parents. One Boca Ciega High School student brought candy today that didn't belong on campus. This is where we're supposed to groom our kids for the future. They can't have a future if they start doing stupid stuff like this. Several students passed around the candy that was laced with a drug. There was a student that was hooked up to like a bunch of machines to monitor him. And um, I guess he passed, he either passed out or reacted bad to the uh, edible gummies. Seven kids ate the drug-laced gummy candy. Four of them were taken to All Children's Hospital. When you got kids hospitalized, that's serious. That's something, I mean, you could die. Parents can't change what happened earlier today at this school, but they want to use this incident as an opportunity to teach their kids about drugs. I definitely don't want nothing to happen to my child. So this is what I'm going to keep doing, is telling him not to take anything from anybody. School officials and Gulfport police detectives are investigating this case. It's not a question of, like, uh, there should be some security at the door and, and checking gummy bears. Who's going to think about that, you know what I mean? It, drugs can be bought in anywhere, but it's up to us to educate our kids to stay away from it and what the consequences will be. Students know that they have a student code of conduct and what it says, and there's a section that talks about drugs, and they could face disciplinary action. So we do know that detectives have to finish their investigation first, and then school officials are going to decide what kind of disciplinary action these students will face, if any. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.